And prices here in Nevada are the highest since 2008. This station here is over $4, and the average in Nevada is $4.02. Meantime, businesses are preparing for a busy Labor Day weekend, but no, it won't have the same tourism draw as 4th of July for many different reasons. Will people be out to play this Labor Day? We're really looking forward to a lot of people coming over and playing pinball. Owner Tim Arnold says the Pinball Hall of Fame on Las Vegas Boulevard has seen a small summer slowdown the last month or so. The problem is that a lot of people aren't leaving their house and there's some people that don't want to wear a mask, and it's just generally, I think, fear. This weekend, the CDC is recommending those unvaccinated don't travel, and even if you are, weigh the risks. And with fears of the Delta variant, many may choose to stay at home. Stage Door Casino, a bar and liquor store right between the Link and Bally's, expects a decent turnout, even with the mask mandate. They say there are still lots of unknowns with travel warnings, but the bar is counting on tourists driving into Vegas. AAA spokesman Sergio Avila says that's been the trend during holiday weekends this year. The travel has been strong uh, for the last several months, and we expect that trend to really continue uh, into Labor Day. This is kind of the last big, uh, big weekend of the summer. Travel numbers aren't predicted to reach this year's Memorial Day or 4th of July. But gas prices are the highest by far. The average over $4 is the highest since summer of 2008. We're starting to see gas prices begin to level off just a bit. Will likely also lead to a drop in demand. So we're expecting them to drop a little bit more as the Labor Day holiday comes and goes. And believe it or not, this $4.02 average is two cents less than it was last week. The CDC recommends if you do travel to keep it outdoors as much as possible and wear a mask when it's necessary. Reporting live, I'm Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.